大家好 ，We are from Group Two, and we will be discussing about Chinese note or Tong Kuo Tie. There are multiple parts for our explanation. We will be looking over the history, characteristics, types, symbolic meanings, and the process of making the Chinese note. 大家好，我是 Joanna Annie Anna Brumfon Anthony。我的 metric 数字二零二零一零九。六八六三。Now I'm going to talk about, uh, for the introduction, a little bit about Chinese knot history. The art of knitting rope is known as Chinese knitting. Different uh, uh, shapes of this Chinese knot carries different meanings. Some mean prosperity, wealth, happiness, well-being, health, and so on. It is also believed that this Chinese knot is used. To ward off demonic interference and disaster, and it is also considered a sign of blessing among the people. Chinese knot is basically、uh, symmetrical and double layered, with two cords entering the knot from the top and two cords leaving from the bottom, and it is embellished with bells, gold decorations, and thinner cords among other things. History of Chinese knot has a close relation with Buddhism, and It has evidence、uh, of carvings with Chinese knot from northern dynasties period. However, this origin of Chinese knotting as as a distinct decorative folk art can be traced back to the Spring and Autumn period before Warring States period. It has influenced the Chinese culture in the tradition of tying a silk or cotton ribbon knot at the waist, and、um, Chinese knotting becoming a distinctive art. Uh, in、uh, Chinese culture until today, modern development of Chinese knot has、uh, progressed from simple functional item to multi-faced form of decoration.、Uh, simultaneously, decorative macrame gained popularity popularity in the West. The cord was traditionally made of cotton, linen, silk, and leather. There was also gold and silver available, but today's knotting、uh, guides. Uh, has a variety of、uh, dozen of basic designs. Each one has numerous variations and permutations. 大家好，我叫小妮妮，我的绰号是二零二零二零九六六三七。And now I would like to talk about the characteristic of Chinese knot. Firstly, Chinese knots are very compact in structure. The strain which pulls against the knot would draw the constituent parts tightly together, allowing them to hold. At the same time, Chinese knots are highly decorative, making them suitable for a variety of applications. Secondly, the interlocking structure of Chinese knots is complex. In this structural complexity, there are many variation of patterns. This characteristic, to be sure, clearly distinguishes Chinese knot work from its Euro-American sibling, which is macrame knotting. Although square knots and semi-hanging joints are often used for making macrame, but they are still quite plain from the aesthetic point of view. Thirdly, Chinese knots, for the most part, are symmetrical in form. While this design is very much in line with the underlying philosophy of Chinese decorative arts, it has nevertheless curtailed the artist's opinions in the selection of themes. Lastly, Chinese knots are three-dimensional. They consist of two layers of cord with an empty space between. This type of interlayer strengthens the structure of the knot without having to change its shape to make it tough enough to hang. At the same time, unwanted loose ends can be tucked into space inside. Further, beads, jewels, and other auspicious objects may also be seen in adding to the beauty of the knot. Ta ciao, ho ciao, lino mai sarà binti ho sali. What the sway how D A Ling A Ling E Ling Chiu A U Ling Chiu. Next, I will be proceed with discussing about the types of Chinese note. In this slide, we can see that we have ten types of Chinese note. Without further ado, let me introduce you to each note. For the first one, we have clover leaf note. 
The second type is round bracket note. The third one, we have Chinese button note. The fourth one, double connection note. The fifth one, we have double coin note. The sixth type is Savastika note. Seven, we have cross note. Next, for the eighth type, we have plafon note. Nine, we have panchang note. For the last one, we have good luck note. And that is all for the type of Chinese note. Thank you. 大家好,我是艾德,我的学校的2020-10-10-10 I will be talking about the symbolism of the Chinese knots. Symbolism of Chinese knot This connotation can even be seen in Chinese words. The Chinese word for rope is sheng, which sounds similar to the words for spirit, divine and life. The knot has a spiritual meaning and is mainly used for worshipping. Similar to Bagua mirrors, knots are supposed to ward off evil spirits, hence are a symbol of legality and eternity. Knots act as good luck charms given during Chinese New Year celebration. In Feng Shui, beliefs, endless knots symbolize a long life without setbacks. In ancient times, and even now, lovers may give a knot as a symbol of their love. True love knot and double knot are given or used at weddings to express mutual love and loyalty to each other. Knot means love and marriage in Chinese culture. The word for knot itself is jie and is related to many other terms which reinforce the symbolic meaning. For example, tuan jie which means to unite and jie hun means to marry. So knot is given to a married couple or spouse in which it gave a positive meaning for a long lasting marriage and have healthy children head. I would like to talk about how to make Chinese note. How to make a Chinese good luck note. Step 1. Fold the paracord in half. Step 2. Locating the top loop. Step 3. Making the right loop. From the center, Go down about 10 cm and from a second loop which will be your right loop. Step 4. Making the left loop. Step 5. Folding the bottom strand. Take the two loose strands on the bottom and fold them over the left loop, parallel to the top loop. This should create a hole on the bottom left side of the center. Step 6. Folding the left loop. Fold the left loop over the two loose strands and the top loop and place it just about half away over the right loop. Step 7. Folding the top loop. Fold the top loop over both right loops. Step 8. Folding through the hole. Fold the longer right loop through the hole that was kept open from step 5. Step 9. Drawing the knot together. Draw the knot together by tugging on all the loops and the two loose strands. Do not tighten the knot too much, only enough to have a nice square shape in the middle. Keep the loops big enough to do more folding. 10. Folding the left loop. 11. Fold the bottom loop. 12. Fold the longer right loop. 13. Folding the loose strands. F14. Draw the knot together. Put the knot together by pulling all the loops and strands outward. Do not tighten the knot too much, only enough to have a square middle. There should be little tags on the edges of the square middle. Pull them out to make mini loops and tighten all the loops and strands again. In conclusion, Chinese knots represent an important part of the Chinese culture. Its long history, unique characteristics, and not to mention various designs, shapes, and colors that carry different meanings for each combination showed how far along the Chinese knot had evolved. It is still a very stunning accessory to have for everyone including people who do not believe in the power of Zhong Guojie. I hope that people will now be able to differentiate each type of Chinese knot and could choose the right Chinese knot for their specific purposes. That is all from us. Xie xie.